do you describe yourself as an introvert or an extrovert? In 1921, Carl Jung coined the two terms to describe people who were open and outgoing and those who were shy and reserved. As the stereotype goes, extroverts are the ones leading the conga line while introverts are those who have their nose in a good book. But what if you don't feel like you fit in either category? Well, people who identify with both personality types are called ambiverts, and they're more common than you might think. Making up about 68% of the world, there are plenty of great traits that can be found in extroverts and introverts. So being a mix of the two gives ambiverts benefits from both ends of the spectrum. While no ambivert is exactly like one another, here are nine things that make ambiverts attractive. Number one, you have great leadership skills. Do others always compliment you on your leadership skills? And this is a skill that comes almost naturally to ambiverts. In group settings, you're able to take charge and channel both of your extroverted and introverted sides to guide and meet the needs of each of your teammates. And this may mean utilizing each of your peers' individual strengths and being open to all the ideas brought to the table. With a creative mind full of ideas, you know how to bring everyone success. Number two, you're in tune with your intuition. Whether you realize it or not, as an ambivert, your spot on intuition is one of your most important and attractive qualities. Because you have strong beliefs and you're outgoing, you know how and when to stand your ground. You aren't afraid to act when something feels wrong. Compared to others, you tend to be more observant than you let on, since you have a habit of picking up external cues and changes as you go about your day. Number three, you're picky, but in a good way. Because of your social and bold qualities, it's easy to assume that all ambiverts are eager to make friends. Well, this may not be the case for most. Instead, Determining your most valued friendships is like using a claw machine. It requires selectivity, effort, and time. Although you're more open and sociable compared to introverts, it does take a while to get on your best friend list and become someone you turn to for a good laugh, comfort, and support. Number four, your ability to sympathize and empathize with others doesn't go unnoticed. Are you always the one that your friends go to when they need support? Showing sympathy and empathy is your way of acknowledging, understanding, and validating someone's emotions. Ways of expressing sympathy and empathy can range from lending a shoulder to lean on, sharing a good laugh with someone, providing words of reassurance, or even simply letting a friend vent to you about their hard day at work. With the ability to show compassion and consideration, who better than an ambivert to rely on? Number five, you're a great communicator and listener. Are you able to keep conversations going as well as listen to what others have to say? According to psychologist Paulette Kaufman Sherman, taking on the qualities of both introverts and extroverts allows you to have enough time to think before you speak and to also be able to share your ideas and to speak your mind freely. From small talk with coworkers to talks of politics at the dinner table, you have your fair share of input, but also an openness to hear what other people have to say. Number six, you know how to adapt to different social settings. Can you always make yourself fit into any social situation? Another attractive quality of ambiverts is their ability to bring out their extroverted and introvert sides wherever it fits best. While you may make the perfect plus one at parties, you also fit right in at a book club, museum trips, and the other more relaxing types of social settings. Because of your skill, you're able to make connections with others, no matter how different their personality may be. Number seven, you aren't attention hoggers. Have you noticed that ambiverts don't always want to be the center of attention in social settings? While you're more than capable of being a lively entertainer, you also enjoy standing off to the side sometimes to let others take the spotlight. This is because like introverts, ambiverts also need time to recharge. Number eight, you can also be unpredictable. Are you always the one who comes up with exciting plans for your friends and loved ones? Ambiverts have the unique ability to keep the spark alive in almost any of their relationships through their spontaneity. The ideas you have in mind for a hangout or a date can range from walks through a park to rock climbing. Your spontaneous-like nature makes you not only fun to hang around, but also someone to make memorable moments with. And number nine, you aren't afraid to show your interest in others. How do you show someone that you're attracted to them? 
Some people may show it through stolen glances across a room, finding excuses to have a conversation or even through gentle but subtle touches. But because of your confidence as an ambivert, you're more direct when it comes to showing your interest. While you might not directly tell your crush how you feel, you're not as likely to shy away from any prime opportunity to approach and interact with someone you like. So, do you think you're an ambivert? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, be sure to like and share it with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.